Hey everyone, Alex from O'Brien here. This is a quick video to make you aware of the new metal scan bodies that were just released by Strawman early this year. These new scan bodies are made entirely of titanium, which is a big improvement over the previous version, which was made of peak plastic. And that's because there are some major advantages of titanium versus peak. First, titanium isn't nearly as susceptible to deformation as peak. Peak scan bodies will typically warp with repeated use, but worse than that, they can even be deformed on first use if proper care isn't taken to ensure that they're being seated correctly. Second, these metal scan bodies are autoclavable up to 100 times, and at the current price, that's less than 60 cents per use. If you restore a lot of Strawman implants, this is a huge cost saver. Third, they're radiopaque, which makes for easy verification of proper seat to the implant. Peak plastic is highly radiolucent, which has always been a big disadvantage. Fourth, these new scan bodies have a non-reflective coating that eliminates the need for scan powder. In addition to those material advantages, another cool feature is the addition of laser markings on each scan body to show you the platforms that it's compatible with. For instance, this scan body for the TLC and TLX implants has markings of NT, RT, and WT. That tells you that it can be used for all of those platforms. This is a really useful feature for identifying your scan bodies and ensuring that you're using the correct one. And since those markings show up in the scan, it also allows your lab to verify that the scan body used matches the platform that you've mentioned on the RX. On the other side of the scan body is a laser etch of the reference number, which can be helpful when it's time to order a new one. We do highly recommend that you replace any of the old peak scan bodies you might be using with these improved metal ones. For now, you will still be able to use the old ones, but our understanding is that Strawman will be dropping support of those in the future. I hope you found this video helpful, and as always, feel free to contact us with any questions. See you next time.